Having to do consultations by phone or video call is a big change. It can take some getting used to. So here's our guide to making sure things go smoothly. Just because this is a different way of doing consultations doesn't mean you can't have someone with you. They can either join you at home or on the phone or video call. Whichever device you'll be using for your consultation, make sure you're familiar with it. If it's a device that needs a Wi-Fi or mobile phone connection, find the spots around your home which have a good signal. So that you don't run out of battery during the call, stay plugged in if possible. And before you start, check that the volume's turned up. If a family member or friend is going to be joining you from somewhere else, Make sure you send them the phone dial-in or video login details in advance. Find a comfortable spot and be there in good time. It can feel stressful if you have to wait, so have something to keep you occupied. And, of course, make sure that other members of your household aren't going to interrupt. Before the consultation, just like for a regular one, Think through what you want to talk to the doctor about and how you've been feeling. It's a good idea to have a list of questions ready and keep a pen and paper handy for making notes. That means it's also best to not be holding your device if possible. If you're finding it hard to hear what the team are saying or you have any other issues during the call, it's important to say so. Try not to feel rushed. The time's for you, so mention anything you might be worried about. Don't finish the call until you feel you've discussed any questions and concerns you have. And make sure you know the time of your next appointment and contact details for your team. Following these pointers should mean that phone and video consultations work well for you. But if for any reason you feel that you want to see a doctor in person, do ask. That will be arranged if possible. Remember, you can call your healthcare team in between appointments if you have any concerns. And, of course, you can call the Myeloma Info Line or look up info anytime on our website.